Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna talk some more about the adrenal gland and adrenal hormones. And this brought up an interesting point, And that is that although we think of progesterone as being a female hormone, everybody makes progesterone. In fact, progesterone is produced in the adrenal gland in the zona glomerulosa, uh, which is the pathway to aldosterone. In fact, progesterone is a precursor for aldosterone. It's also a precursor for cortisol and uh, a precursor for testosterone. So we're going to talk about the first phase of steroidogenesis in the adrenal gland uh, on this pathway of progesterone and aldosterone. And then later on, it will also add on uh, cortisol and uh, DHEA, uh, androstenedione, dione, and testosterone, and then we'll have a whole complete pathway. Um, so let's get started. So this again happens in an area of the adrenal cortex called the zona glomerulosa, the most outer layer of the adrenal cortex. And we're going to start this pathway uh, with cholesterol because uh, these hormones are steroid hormone, hormones, which means that uh, they are made from cholesterol. And when they bind to a cell, they actually enter inside the cell and stimulate a receptor within the nucleus. Uh, so we're going to start off with cholesterol which binds to something called STAR, uh, and which allows the cholesterol to enter. And then cholesterol is going to be converted to something called pregnenolone. And this is done by an enzyme called cholesterol desmolase. And then pregnenolone is going to be converted by our next enzyme, 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase. To progesterone. All right, and then these next couple steps are really, really important to remember. Um, so basically, I mean, this is how we get to progesterone. This is how everybody makes progesterone in the adrenal gland. Um, but the next two steps of the pathway to aldosterone are actually really important enzymes, and they are necessary for sexual development um, in a fetus. And so if we are missing either of these next two enzymes, we're going to have a difference in sexual development. And I'm going to get into that in later videos, but just remember these for later because they are going to come back up and they're going to be really important. So progesterone is going to be converted to 11 deoxycorticosterone. And um, this happens via an enzyme. We're gonna do this in blue because I think red is too confusing and green is too confusing because uh, we use those for stimulation and inhibition. So we're gonna use blue uh, for our really important enzymes to remember. And this progesterone is converted to 11 deoxycorticosterone by 21 hydroxylase. Remember this one, this is important, 21 hydroxylase. And then the next one, 11-deoxycorticosterone uh, is going to be converted to corticosterone via an enzyme called 11-beta-hydroxylase. Another really, really important one. Remember this one for later. And then finally, corticosterone is going to be converted to aldosterone by aldosterone synthase. So uh, this is a pretty simple pathway. The pathway is going to get a lot more complicated as we add more onto it. This is just the beginnings. Um, so let's 
uh, kind of go over this again from the beginning. So we have cholesterol, which binds to star. Um, it enters the pathway. Uh, it is converted by cholesterol desmolase to pregnenolone. Preg pregnenolone is uh, converted by 3-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase to progesterone, which is converted by 21-hydroxylase to 11-deoxycorticosterone, converted by 11-beta-hydroxylase to corticosterone, and then finally is converted by aldosterone synthase to aldosterone. And that is our pathway for today. Um, if you have any comments or debates, leave those down below. Um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all in the next one.